our students, a lot of our graduates. So once again, welcome. Thank you for coming out on such a wet, nasty, rainy day. I'm so glad to see all of you here. Um, it really gives me a hell of a lot of pleasure to bring natural and natural lighting and to talk about his work, talk about his film work, to talk about his travels. Uh, when you see his photography and his films, uh, be aware of something, that this is a cat that, you know, you call him up and say, well, natural, where are you going? I'm oh, going to Africa, I'm going to Nigeria. Oh, where are you staying? I don't know. And when I get there, when I get there, I'll figure out who I'm going to stay with. I say, you know people there. I don't know about it. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see some really unbelievable, incredible work. Um, natural is one of our graduates. He graduated from uh, ESC. When did you graduate? Uh, 17. 17. 2017. At the end of that term, when he graduated, he went to the School of Visual Arts, which is my alma mater. And he is working on his master's in fine arts and film. Am I yeah, correct? Directing. And you, you graduated this year, I believe. May 15th. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. We're going to start with a film. After we show the film, we're going to have a little Q&A. We're going to show a couple of, of his, his uh, film creations. Uh, an incredible director, filmmaker, videographer. I mean, I'm really unbelievably impressed by the work that he does. Um, so we are going to start. Dim the lights and get this started. And like I say, at the end, please think about you know what you're looking at and. But I had to figure it out once I was there because when I'm on the ground, I can I can network with people from it and find the right situation to get into, opposed to paying fifteen thousand dollars to go there from here. You know, so um, this is just the people there. You know, it's just interesting. Yeah, but it's a little scary. You know, because I wasn't used to. Being in that environment, I wasn't used to the, the customs. I wasn't used to, like, and they're kind of aggressive, too, this this group of people. Are they two different tribes with based off the colored um, Wolverine? Nah, this is, this is all one tribe here, one community. Um, yeah, and before they used to be naked. Um, I think the, I think they were forced to wear clothes and because tourists are coming and uh, they pay. So you have to pay them to take photos and uh, they don't normally let you take video um, and if you do you're paying a lot for that what does the markings on the face mean those markings I don't know um, I'm not sure uh, because some stuff I know is like traditional marks and then I don't know exactly what it means though what is the objection to taking video uh, because a lot of people feel like when you take a video, even a photo, it's like you're capturing a part of them, their soul. But also, uh, yeah. the video is like just live footage interaction. I believe like um, it shows more. You know, a photo you can kind of have an idea of. You know, you can make up your own idea. But a video, you can see. You know what's what's going on. You know, um, and they also feel like you know people have been taken from them forever. You know and not contributing, and this is their first selfie. <laughs> and uh, like, selfie! Um, but look how happy the kids are. You know, these kids, they were just happy to see themselves, like their reflection, yes? Why were you more White scared teeth? in this particular place than uh, other places? <laughs> Good question. Uh, because they were different to me. In what sense? Obviously darker. Darker, painted up, is stretched, like they just don't look like the homie next door. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was just, I mean. It kind, of, it kind of makes me think in a sense where how African Americans we, we deal with it's the same a Caucasian thing. in a sense. It's the same and thing, I'm, bro. And I'm a lighter skinned guy. Yeah. So a, a fair skinned person see me and they're like, oh my God, I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. With, I mean, I'm know, American, so. I'm conditioned, bro. It's real. I'm, I'm conditioned to be afraid of certain people. So doesn't people. that kind of make you feel, and not make you feel, but make you look at yourself in the sense of like, 
should I even, why do I have to feel like that? Yeah, I had to do some self-check and I asked yeah. myself that. Why do you feel scared? I said, well, because they look different to me. Well, because this is not my culture. I don't speak the language. Uh, I'm taught that if you're black, you might do something to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because I'm black, I, it doesn't mean I don't have a uh, Eurocentric way of thinking about myself or you or, you know, uh, certain stuff was ingrained through slavery and through other things where we were put against each other. Right? And I have to deal with that. It's true. Okay. If I see two black dudes walking down the street this way, I might have to look at them a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Now, that does do I have to look at myself that way? And can I understand why people might look at me a certain way? Yeah, mm -hmm. we've conditioned, right? I'm, I'm, I'm taught to be afraid of you. The one good thing about me, though, is I'm not afraid of my own people, right? Now, I'm not stupid, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're not going to catch me just sleeping. But I try to deal with the fact that, yo, I am conditioned. You know, I have an American mind. As much as I want to say I'm African and all this stuff, my way of thinking is American. Do you ever think like the way, like what you just said, the way you look at them, like how other people and other races look at us? For sure. Mm -hmm. same, same, same thing. Same, same thing. Same mindset. Same thing. Yes. And I, and I have to deal with that. You know, and I have dealt with that. That's, this is why I continue to go. Right? Because each time I'm dealing with that, each time I'm faced with, okay, this is, is this friend or foe? Is this my brother? Is this that? You know, and am I afraid to be with black people? You know? And it's, it's something it's real. It's something, it's something, unfortunately, that I've had to learn to live with. You know? And it's unfortunate that some people might see me that way. Okay. You said you were aggressive, like how? What, what I mean by aggressive is? Yeah. Like, what did they do that, that you took it? Can I demonstrate one you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right away, right away, she understood yeah. your point, right? Right away, she got a, a, a whole gist of what she was talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. It's so a certain amount like of self-preservation. Like this, you know? If That's I comfortable to them, though. Yeah. Because, but see, to do what? What were they actually doing? Not just not being in your space. 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 I'm, not space. To, I'm not used to nobody just grabbing me and like, yo, shut up. <laughs> what you trying to do? You trying to rob me? Like, you know? <laughs> so it's just, it was also my thinking. It was my thinking. I had to get past that, you know? Um, Once you felt comfortable. I mean, I never really felt comfortable. Okay, yeah. I never really felt comfortable. But I was there, you know what I'm saying? So I got to just... I'm there, you know? But I, I, I ain't going to lie and say, oh, I felt comfortable after a minute. No. You know? I felt adjusted enough to do what, you needed to do. do what I need to do. I felt adjusted enough to still come with a certain amount of love and, you know, un try to have understanding. And also understand that it's just coachable. Right. Some people talk to each other in their face. Some people kiss each other in the mouth. Some people do all types of stuff. It's just coachable. And I wasn't really aware of the culture like that. Yes? Have you ever indulged in being painted or doing something else to fit into the environment that you found yourself in? All the time. So that's how I transform too and become part of the culture through getting painted, um, getting indoctrinated into certain foods or you know drinking certain things and just letting my guard down enough to where I can be a part of the culture and not just the guy um, there. Yes? Who, who are more touchy feely, the adults or the kids? No, the kids. Right. Kids. All right. kids. That kind of makes um, sense. Adults weren't really touchy. They don't want you touching them either. It's just like, yo. They had that look yeah. like they're beating yeah. out looking yeah. at yeah. you. Yeah. 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 I'm watching I'm, I got my eye on you. Because you got to think about it too. They protect the kids. We're, they're protecting the kids. Wow. While I'm doing this and thinking it's all cute and fun, they don't know me from nowhere, and then they right. send these dudes. Look how look how you looking at you. Yeah, yeah. You play they play with them if you want. Yeah. Play with them if you want. That's why they. That's why yeah. the kids were comfortable yeah. touching you because they, they have they, they have got their back. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But while you're going through it, you're not thinking all these things and knowing all this. Now nah, we're we talking about it. Yes, That's, they feel safe. Yes. How's the greed? Do they? Is it a nod? Do they shake hands? Do they fist bump? Um, I think, I think, um, here, most people is just either 
giving me that, you know, yeah. or coming, you know, yeah. we just real cool, cool. they like, just coming through just jacking it up. Look. Yeah, that's all you and, and then some people want you to feel uncomfortable because you shouldn't feel so comfortable, like because it's kids, it's women, it's mm -hmm. and they're standing there waiting. And they got these sticks, and they're like the warriors, but also they have AK 47s in yeah. the cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's their house. Yeah, that's their house. That's their house. Yeah. yeah, they live in huts. Huh? Are those nah, those are beat you down sticks. Those ain't blow sticks. <laughs> nah, that, they don't blow, but they gonna give you a couple of swipes, you know? They have those too. Yeah, and um, Brazil, they got a lot of uh, the darts and blow sticks. Um, but then, you know, the homies said, okay, you're a homie too, and then it's cool, you know? <laughs> Yeah, here's a stick. <laughs> uh, this is in the Oma Valley, and I found this interesting because these kids, uh, I thought they were from like the tribe or something. They was like, nah, these kids went, paint they self in this uh, white, and they stand outside and try to catch the tourists as they're coming from the tourist attractions right. and get their hustle on too. Yeah, this is hustle. Yeah, this is hustle. <laughs> what's that? They like, what's that? Don't care with no clothes. Yeah, yeah, because it's nothing, you know? It's hot. Yes. Tribes, well, naked, though, naked, yeah. Naked. It's just recently now they're making the women wear um, certain clothes because the tourists. The tourists, not them. Yeah, it's not them. So they're kind of forcing clothes. That's why I, I wanted to take these photos and all. All of this is about the change. In the next few years, this is all going to be different. I can see the change now from when I'm going places and coming back. Uh, now they got on clothes. Now they got on a shirt. Now they got on, you know, soon they're going to have a briefcase and they're going to just be like, I don't need you for nothing. You ain't that. This house is mine. You know, like, oh, you ain't. Uh -uh. You know, so that's kind of the They cool. Yeah, I, I brought those sunglasses out there. And, oh, you um, did? Yeah, I was working with a company and um, we brought the glasses out there. I just was going to say there was a time where they were exploited for the nakedness, the men and the women. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. By, by, I'm not going to say a particular race, but by journalists, people coming in here and exploiting them. Yeah. Just for simply to make it. Yeah, this is what it is. And this is why they're very conscious of you taking photos of them and, you know, they, you know, making people pay. You know, making you pay now. Um, here, these are the Hammer people, the Hammer tribe. And I had love being here with them. Not only are they cool, and look how, you know, they just greeting me and just showing love, but. I just found the culture so interesting, um, and they use uh, butter and dye to put in their hair. The other people I found interesting too, they used um, cow uh, dung and ash to put on their body, and that protects them from getting malaria and certain things like getting bit by certain um, flies and, and transporting disease, because right. um, at one time, they were getting really sick, people were dying, and they couldn't understand why. And then they was wondering why the cows weren't getting, you know, getting the disease. And then they put two and two together, and then they start using the cow manure and ash, put it together, and when you rub it on the skin, it uh, a natural repellent. No, it doesn't smell. I don't know, it's something in the cooking process, or when they mix it, it takes away the odor, because there was no odor of uh, feces where we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust our instinct. We don't trust, you know, because some people have made certain mistakes in their lives or certain things, you, you become disconnected with yourself. When you're out here by yourself, you get more connected with, you know, more grounded, you know, because, you know, there's nothing, there's, no, there's nowhere to run. <clears throat> there's nowhere to hide, you know? You have to, you're exposed, you know? And uh, so there's no time to lie. And I don't mean to other people, I mean to yourself. You gotta be real, you gotta know, you gotta know your strengths, you gotta know your weaknesses, you gotta know who you are, you know? And whose you are, you know? It's important to have a spiritual connection as you're moving about true because people are interacting in different ways and some stuff, you know, we think is physical, but everything is not always physical because if you notice somebody will walk in a room and the whole mood will change, right? You could, you could feel that person vibe, we call it the vibe or, you know, that type of stuff. But I found that to be true. One person could change the dynamic of everything. So you gotta protect yourself, you know? Uh, and protection is not only physical, but it's building up yourself 
you know, spiritually, building up yourself physically. Uh, somebody asked me, what do I do to prepare? Well, I'll try to prepare myself physically. If I know I have time, I'm going to try to eat a certain way, eat healthy, eat okay, try to work out a little bit because I know I'm carrying my bags. I know I'm, a, you know, it's going to be physical. You know, so I want to be able to be ready. And uh, I find you're never really ready. <laughs> you know, but as ready as you could be, you know? Yeah. Thank you. All right? Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you.